Hi my friends and welcome to our classroom. Today we're going to be doing a math lesson. In the math lesson we're going to learn about measuring things. We're going to measure how tall or how long something is. We're going to measure how heavy or how light something is. And then we're going to measure how much of something. So that means we're going to measure size, weight, and amount. Say that with me. Size, weight, amount. One more time, one more time. Here we go, ready? Size, weight, amount. So we're gonna talk about some tools now and you might recognize some of them. So if you know what they are, make sure that you tell me so I can hear. Ready? Let's get to it. All right, on this table, I have a couple measuring tools. I have one, two, three, four, five measuring tools. We're gonna to talk about their name and what do they measure. The first one, remember, if you know the tool, tell me what it is. Here's the first tool. It's in the shape of a rectangle. It's flat. Sometimes it's made out of plastic or wood. This is a ruler. Say that with me, ruler. Now a ruler, can measure something two different ways. On the top right here, you can see are a bunch of numbers. The numbers are very far apart. I can fit two fingers in between the numbers. The numbers only go up to number 12. If you flip it upside down, there are more numbers, but the numbers are a lot closer together. And the number goes all the way up to 30, which is bigger than 12. Now when you use a ruler, you're measuring how long something is or how tall something is. The next tool, it's coiled up in like a little circle and you pull from right here to measure. This is a tape measure. You pull and as you pull, the tape measure gets longer and the numbers get bigger. If something's too big for the ruler to measure, you would use a tape measure. The tape measure goes very long. Look at how big those numbers are getting. So a tape measure also measures how long something is or how tall something is. The next tool, maybe you've seen in the bathroom. This is a scale. Say that word with me, scale. Now a scale like this one, you step on and it tells you how much do you weigh. So it'll tell you if you're heavy or if you're light. This measures weight. The next tool, is a measuring spoon. Now this is different than a regular spoon you use to eat your cereal or your soup. This has a number on it. This might be a little hard to see because it is light. Oh, probably, oh, you can kind of see right here. This is half a teaspoon. So when you're cooking or you're baking and you need half a teaspoon of salt or sugar, you scoop this in and you get that amount. So a measuring spoon measures amount. The last tool I have is, what do you think it is? It's a measuring cup. And as you can see on the side here are all of those numbers that I need to measure. This you may need for liquids or solids. Again, if you're cooking or baking, a measuring cup measures amount. So let's review what they all are and what they measure. This is a ruler, say ruler. This measures size. Say that with me. This measures size. This is a tape measure. Say that with me, tape measure. And this measures size.
say that with me. This measures size. This is a scale. Say that word with me. Scale. This measures weight. Say that with me. This measures weight. This is a measuring spoon. Say that with me. Measuring spoon. This measures amount. Say that with me. This measures amount. And the last one, this is a measuring cup. Say it with me. Measuring cup. This measures amount. Say that with me. This measures amount. So now that we know what they're called and what they measure, let's go ahead and measure some things. First thing I have is this really long pot and I've planted some pepper seeds, some bell pepper seeds to be exact. I want to know how tall is it? If I want to figure out the size, that means I'm going to need either the ruler or the tape measure. So here's my pot. And because I'm measuring size, I'm measuring how tall is my pot, I'm going to use a ruler. Remember, rulers measure size. So I'm going to use this top part where the numbers are far apart from each other. I'm not going to start by putting my ruler on the bottom here. If I did that, we would be starting with the number 12 at the bottom. We don't start at the number 12. We have to start all the way down at the bottom where the invisible number zero is. So I'm gonna put that side down. Now I have to figure out where does my pot end? I'm gonna take my finger and stop where my pot ends. Oh, that's how tall my pot is. So now where my finger is, that number is how tall my pot is. So let's figure out what that number is. That looks like the number five. My pot is five inches tall. Let's check and make sure. So where my thumb is, is going to be where the number five is. Ready? Here we go. Yep, five inches tall. I want to figure out how long is my pot. Now, if I use my ruler, my ruler is not long enough. Do you remember what measuring tool I can use if it's too big for my ruler? Right, I can use my tape measure. So just like I would with the ruler, I have to start all the way at the beginning where the smallest number is. Now we have to pretend like this little hole at the beginning is like the number zero. So we're gonna put number zero at one end and unroll it to see how long my pot is. Let's go ahead and do that. So. I'm gonna start here and I'm going to unroll it all the way until the pot stops. Oh, the pot is stopped. What number did it stop at? I'll bring it closer. What is this number? Right, this is number 21. Let's check and make sure again. I'm gonna hold on tight to this end Make sure, yep, this is 21 inches long. Nice. Next thing I wanna measure is this pot. It's filled with dirt and it has strawberry seeds in it. I want to know how heavy 
it is. I want to know how much does it weigh? Do you remember what measuring tool I would use for that? You said scale, you got it. A scale measures weight or how heavy or light something is. So just like a ruler and a measuring tape, a scale starts at zero. So now we have to figure out how much does this pot weigh? So we're gonna put it, oh, let's see if we can get the number. Oh, let's start that again. Ember has to start at zero. All right, we got our pot and Fourteen pounds. That's a heavy plant. Way to go. I want to measure is salt. I want to measure the amount of salt I would need if I'm going to cook pasta or bake cookies. If I want to measure amount, what tool would I need to use? Right. For salt and for sugar and other spices, you would use a small measuring spoon. I'm going to be using my half a teaspoon. So when I measure, I have to make sure that the salt lays flat on top. If it goes over, that means I have too much. So let's carefully pour enough salt Now you can see that I have a little bit over. To get rid of that and to make sure that it is just a teaspoon, I have to flatten it out. So now I have a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon, excuse me, of salt. I want to measure is water. Again, I want to measure a certain amount that I would need if I were baking a cake, or drinking a right amount of water. What tool would I use if I want to measure amount? I wouldn't want to use a teaspoon. A teaspoon is too small. I'm going to use a measuring cup. Now on my measuring cup, you can see that the numbers get bigger the more filled up it gets. So I'm going to measure all the way to one cup of water. So as I pour, I have to watch out and make sure that I do not go over this line. All right, right there is one cup of water. See where it stopped at the line right here where the number one is? One cup of water. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to review what we learned. We're going to review what each of these measuring tools measures. Do they measure size, weight, or amount? Let's start with the first one. This is a ruler. Now, a ruler measures what? Does it measure amount, size, or weight? What do you think? Right, a ruler measures size. How tall or how long something is. The next one is my scale. What does my scale measure? Size, weight, or amount? We already have size circled, so the ones that are left are amount or weight. What do you think it is? Right, a scale measures weight, how heavy or how light something is. Very good. So now we have our measuring cup. Does our measuring cup measure size, weight, or amount? We already circled size, and we just circled weight. 
So the last one left is amount. Our measuring cup measures amount. Good job, friends. Well, that's all for this video. I love you, I miss you, and I wish you well. So until next time, see ya.